Silly season dominoes continue to fall as Michael Madow has announced that he will join Spire Motorsports in 2025. What's going on, guys? It's Daniel, and welcome back to another video. It was announced a few hours ago that Michael Madow would not be returning to Front Row Motorsports. Literally, Three hours later, after a lot of talk speculation about Michael Madow potentially heading to Spire Motorsports, Michael Madow has officially confirmed that he will join Spire Motorsports in 2025. Here's a statement from Spire Motorsports. 2021 Daytona 500 winner Michael Madow to drive the team's number 71. Spire Motorsports has agreed to a multi-year contract with 2021 Daytona 500 winner Michael McDowell to drive the team's number 71 Chevrolet Camaro ZL1 in the NASCAR Cup Series beginning with the 2025 season. McDowell, a native of Glendale, Arizona, is a veteran of 477 NASCAR Cup Series starts and a two-time race winner. He made his NASCAR Cup Series debut in 2008 and has since recorded two pole positions, nine top fives, and 40 top 10 finishes in NASCAR's premier division. He'll be teamed up with veteran Corey LaJoy and 2024 Sunoco Rookie of the Year contender Carson Osmar. This is a new chapter for my family and me, and we're incredibly thankful for the opportunity. That's in front of us, said McDowell. It's going to take some hard work, but I feel like everything is in place for us to be successful as a race team, to win races and contend for championships. People are the greatest assets of any organization, and with Spire's vision, ambition, knowledge, and dedication, we'll achieve great things. Failure is not an option, and that's the mindset that it will take to achieve our goals. Here's what Doug Dughart said. He says, Michael Madow is a proven winner and brings a NASCAR playoff pedigree, says Spire Motorsports President Doug Ducar. Michael's always been committed to elevate his team. His experience and enthusiasm was a perfect fit for Spire Motorsports. And we are sure that he will be a great teammate to both Corey LaJoy and Carson Hosmar. We're thrilled to keep up with the positive momentum by adding someone accomplished as Michael to our driver lineup. Our 2024 plan for the number 71 remains unchanged. Spire Motorsports fully supports Zane Smith and Steven Durant. We remain committed to the success of our collaboration with Trackhouse. The team is just beginning to realize its potential. We're looking forward to seeing how the Rookie of the Year battle plays out between Zane and Carson. This is absolutely huge. Like I mentioned a second ago, we, or a couple hours ago, Michael Madow announced he would not be returned to front row. And there's speculation starting this week that he was going to be headed over to Spire Motorsports in 2025. And now it's officially confirmed. When you look at Spire Motorsports, they're a team that is on the up and up. And they're looking for more veteran experience. While Corey LaJoy does have a lot of veteran experience, he's not as good as Michael McDowell. They're going to be able to lean on Michael McDowell going forward, and I think it's really going to help Spire Motorsports continue to grow. And I think Michael McDowell is going over to a solid organization on the up and up. Is Farmer Motorsports right now <coughs> a better organization than Spire? I would say definitely, probably, for sure. But with the rumors and rumblings of SHR in front row merging, a lot of people thought that he would be picked up in a different asset. We talked about this last year, but there were teams looking at Michael Medow last year. Stuart Haas Racing came to mind. We all thought that Michael Medow would be driving the 10 car in 2024. But then he signed that one-year extension. But Michael Medow had a lot of success at front row, which we'll get back to them in just a little bit. What happens with Zane Smith now? Well, Zane Smith more than likely is going to be full-time with Trackhouse Racing next year. We know Trackhouse Racing is looking to have around three to four cars in the 2025 season. They're trying to have Shane Van Gisberg in full-time next year of how well he's been doing in Xfinity this year. Many, like myself, are expecting that SVG is going to be a full-time Cup Series driver in 2025. And we're also expecting that Zane Smith is going to be integrated full-time in the Trackhouse next year. They probably will get those charters from either Stuart Haas Racing or maybe even Colic, or they could get it out from somebody <coughs> that we don't know at this particular point. As for Farmer Motorsports, let's transition them because we don't know what's going to be happening with that team going into 2025. Like I mentioned a second ago, Stuart Haas Racing and Farmer Motorsports are rumored to be merging. I talked about that earlier today. They're rumored to be merging. I would imagine that the lineup they're going to have is potentially Todd Gillen because Todd Gillen is not going anywhere anytime soon. Josh Berry, potentially, of course, Noah Grayson, and Chase Briscoe. I think Ryan Priest is out, and I think there's a chance he goes into 21 next year. I think with the rumor of the merger potentially happening, Ryan Priest is probably out. We talked about the frustration that Ryan Priest has had with Stuart Haas Racing, and there's now even rumors circulating that Stuart Haas Racing may shut their shop down altogether and sell all their assets maybe to Front Row Motorsports, which could lead to a lot of charters being up for grabs. But transitioning back over to Michael McDowell. 
He's also going to be asset for some of the drivers in the truck series. He's probably going to make truck series starts next year, which he hasn't made truck starts in quite a bit of time. I think the last time he raced in the truck series was 07 in 2008. I think he drove the double zero truck in the truck series many seasons ago. And now he's going to get the chance and opportunity to work with a team like Spire who's on the up and up. They've shown a lot of promise this year. Carson Osvar, in my opinion, has been the best driver at Spire. He's done an excellent job. He's done great things over at that team. He's around 20th in the points. He's at a one or top 10 so far, but he's at top 10 and top 15 speed. It seems like on a week-by-week -week basis. He's someone who always gets the best out of his equipment. And then, like I said, you look at some of the other drivers, like Corey LaJoy is going to need that veteran experience for sure from Michael McDowell. As for the rest of Silly Season, let's transition back over to Front Row Motorsports. I think that there's a lot of drivers in play if they don't merge at SHR. You've got drivers in the lower series, like a Matt Benedetto who could be available. You've got other drivers that could be available, like, of course, a Cole Custer or a Riley Herbst. But those drivers could go to another team in the not-so-distant future. I think there's also, like I said, the possibility that someone like a Haley Deegan could also make the move over there. That certainly is a possibility with the sponsorship that she brings to the table. RFK is looking to expand going to next year. 2311 Racing, they're also looking to expand. I could see him trying to get Chandler Smith up there. And I also could see someone like a Carl Lewis coming to time or Kurt Busch, but probably not at this point. And then you got, of course, got Trackhouse. And then, of course, there's Junior Motorsports rumors and all that stuff. This silly season is going to be wild and crazy, and it all depends on how this charter agreement and charter negotiations go through, which many are expecting that those charter negotiations are going to end up getting finalized in the not-so-distance future. It is going to be fun to watch, though, but seeing Michael McDowell go to Spire is disappointing to see he won't be back with Front Row. He had a lot of success with that team the last couple of years. He, of course, won an Indy last year and won the Daytona 500 in 2021. But at the same time, if you get the chance and opportunity to work with a team like Spire, who's going to get help from Trackhouse, who's going to get help from Hendrick Motorsports, I would take that chance and opportunity. We'll see how he ends up doing with the team. If you want my prediction, I think he'll run a little better next year. I think he'll do better than what Zane Smith's done with the team this year. I think more than likely he'll probably be around 20th to 25th in points. I think he'll get some top 10s and top 15s. And I think he might have an outside chance of winning races if Spire's equipment does end up getting better. We'll see how he ends up doing, but he'll be headed over to Spire Motorsports in 2025. So, that is good for today's special breaking news report. I want to thank guys for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. Notifications on so if I win a video, does go live on my channel. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, and support me on Patreon as well. Link in the description below that. Comment your thoughts below on today's episode. How do you think that Michael Medell is going to do at Spire? Let me your thoughts in the comments below. If any other major news breaks later today, we'll have it here on the channel. There's also going to be Xfinity Series race picks dropping later this evening as well. Then tomorrow on the channel, we'll have race picks for the Cup Series along with the paint schemes for all the throwback paint schemes. If any major news breaks tomorrow, we'll talk about that. Friday, give me a NASCAR news video recapping everything that's happened because there's been a lot of craziness going on. And there's a lot of great content as we head over to Darlington this week. So anyways, like I said, I want to thank you guys for watching today's episode. I'll see you guys next time for more great awesome NASCAR content and other motorsports content on the channel like this. Take care, everybody.